What's up, hard workers? It's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I am super duper back with another one, y'all. We right there at 14,000, y'all. Right there. We about to be right there. I'm going to need y'all to hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, hit that bell button, and then press the bell for all. You get all my notifications, all that good stuff. You feel me? Now, let's go. So, I want to talk about this Nia Long and Emmy Nduka uh, situation. Uh, we all know who Nia Long is, and the dude Emmy Nduka, he's uh, basically her fiance of five years. And they also have a 10-year-old son. So a lot of that's just coming out, too, because the way it was put out there is that he been with her for not that long. So he's the head coach of the Boston Celtics. And what's crazy, the Boston Celtics was just in the finals like three months ago. So he became the man. So now what they're saying is, according to new reports, right, in the Atlantic and parts confirmed with ESPN, the Celtics discovered that the Emmy and Duca and female employee were having an affair. At the time, it didn't seem to be a big deal because they both said it was a consensual relationship. Now, let me stop there. They both married. <laughs> well, she's married. Allegedly, she's married. You understand? And why this is going on, because they warned them before. Now, this ain't the, sec this ain't the first time that this happened. They warned her before. And, you know, he was with Nia Long and she had no clue about it. So let me finish this. Now, what they're saying is, even though they work together, consensual relationships between adults do not lead to coaches being suspended for a year. And it is fairly common in the NBA. Ain't that crazy? I mean, it's really not that crazy. I mean, this is something that you would expect. I mean, people work together all day. They're on the road all the time together, shit like that. So you can see stuff like that coming. But this is where it became a problem. So what they saying is, after the staffer, they saying that you know they 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 allegedly saying that she's a Caucasian woman. Which come on, you you know it had to be a Caucasian woman now. Come on, you you already know that. They said she broke off the affair, and they said that Emmy reportedly made unwanted comments towards her, leading the team to launch an internal investigation. Now let me stop there. Now see that's where the problem happened, right? Because. He didn't know how to stop. He the one that caught feelings and he didn't know how to stop. So he the one that got this investigation open because he want to keep saying little slick things. And we all know. We all know. When it comes to the bag, oh, yeah, Caucasian woman ain't going to play. Because a bag is going to come out of this situation. It's not going to be all this big-ass investigation and this and that and a bag ain't going to come out. See, the thing is going to be like, okay, it was it it was it was consensual. But then he start harassing me. And then he's her boss. All it takes is for him to do one stupid thing, whereas he did something to make it feel like it was in retaliation. That's all it took. And that's not all, though. Because they actually saying that the person that actually exposed this whole situation was somebody from the starting squad of his own team. Yeah, you heard me. Somebody basically dropped the... Dropped a, uh, a note on him. <laughs> Somebody basically dropped a pink slip on him. Because what they trying to say is that he was actually having a little issues or back and forth with one of the actual players. So now he's saying they know who the player is that actually told. Allegedly. This is alleged. And they also saying that he's still going to be there. And when the coach come back, he's still going to be there. But I'm going to tell you all this, right? That coach ain't coming back. That coach is done. Listen. They're about to pull a Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr situation on this. And for all my basketball players, y'all know what it mean. He got that team to the NBA Finals a um, couple months ago. This coach right here got that team to the NBA Finals. And then from his own stupidity, because you can't make it seem like nobody did this and made it. This, no, it was his own stupidity. He started messing with such and such and it gets suspended for a year. They would at least gave him a benefit of the doubt. Not a whole damn year. That means he must have really been wilding. And then and for this right here, they're going, like I said, they're going to pull a Steve Kerr in them. Now they're going to either find a new coach that's going to be ready to take that team. That team ready to go. It's just ready to go. Or this, if hopefully this coming, or this coach right here, and they mind, they probably think, let's see if this coach right here going to do his thing. But he's not coming back. He's over. And you know what the crazy part is? Everybody's screaming, I'm, oh, it was Neil Long. That's Neil. How can they cheat on Neil Long? No disrespect, but Neil Long is another woman. There's no disrespect. 
the messed up part is, I will say about that, is the fact that how open this is and how exposed and how out there it is. They got a 10-year-old son. So you know they had to been together for about 11 years, 12 years at least. They've been engaged for five years. He had a hanging for five years. That's a long time to be engaged. And the thing about it, you don't hear nothing from Neil Long or nothing like that. So it, it could be way deeper than what it seems because she said to herself she was blindsided by this. She said she going to need prayers because she was blindsided by this whole situation. So that let you know it's, it's a different dynamic at home. I ain't trying to be Dr. Phil, but it's, it's definitely, she's probably very, very isolated. And it's crazy to hear that coming from one of our most famous actresses that every dude probably loved and still loved to his day to hear that she was probably on some gullible time. But that's the vibes I'm getting. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this situation, man. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's push me to that 14,000. Let's get it there, y'all. Easy.